Okay. I'm Carmelo Anthony, um, small forward, number seven of the New York Knicks. I was born in Red Hook, Brooklyn, and moved to um, moved uh, moved to Baltimore after my father passed passed away when I was two years old. Unfortunately, while during while I was in Baltimore, I was an average student, but then I was able to go to Syracuse University and was able to win a, ch and a championship in 2003 with the Syracuse Orangemen, which is NCAA college. It was the first title, which is pretty impressive. And in 2003, I was drafted to the Denver Nuggets, and now I'm with the New York Knicks. So in, in New York, we haven't won an NBA championship since 1972, which is 41 years. We we need an NBA championship. We oh, uh, uh, sorry. All right, that was good. That no, was really good. So good morning to or afternoon rather. Um, my name is FDR Franklin Dillon Roosevelt, and I was the president during the Great Depression. So during this time, there were really, really, really hard for the American people. There was really high unemployment rates, et cetera, et cetera. And you all know the causes. So I came to power to help fix this. So our country skyrocketed back up, is that even like a correct term? Um, and we prospered once again. And so my initiatives to start different programs, as you all know, like the WPA and et cetera, et cetera, helped people to promote themselves rather than stay in the corners. And so, and additionally, I was able to go and connect with my um, American people. So I regularly had these talk shows on the radio and talked with my people about how we were supposed to correct the country itself and how we were planning to help develop everyone as a whole. And through this, people gained courage that the Americans can finally come back again through the good time. Alright, good job. <coughs> good afternoon. I'm Seth my father. I should stay alive on this hot air balloon. You wanna know why? Okay, let's start. I'm a director and a producer and a comedian and I hosted the Oscars. There have been millions of depressed kids around the world, okay? That number has steadily dwindled since the release of Family Guy. I am teaching kids things they have never <laughs> known before, okay? These kids are learning things they will never learn in school if it wasn't for me, okay? So number one, I teach kids things, I put a smile on their face. People say that the future of the world is the younger generation. I'm a young guy. <laughs> I have so much to offer to society. As I mentioned, I'm a comedian. I'm a rich guy. I'm a philanthropist. I like to give money to charity so that they can improve and help the lives of others. I'm a good person. Modest. Yeah, it's a very modest person. I'm a good person. All right, good job. All right, that was so hey, Hello, everyone. I'm Bill Gates, the second most, the second richest person in the world. So let's get down to the facts. One. Since 2007, I've given over $28 billion to charity. So I really do care about the developing world and our younger generation. And through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, we've given money to endorse education, clean water and food, especially in parts of Africa where there are villagers who have to walk miles and miles for water and food. So I really do advocate for a better world. And second of all, the reason I should be alive is because if we, I get off this hot air balloon alive, I'll um, put funding to make sure that hotter balloons are created larger so that everyone can live, so no one has to die. <laughs> Third of all, again going back to the money, in 2010 I partnered with Warren Buffett so that by the end of our, my life, we together would have given away more than half of our fortune towards charity, towards producing a better world. So I think that's why I should say. Good job, alright. All right. I am Confucius. I started my own belief system in China called Confucianism. It started around 200 BC in, during the Han Dynasty and it lasted for over 400 years even after the Han, Han, Dynasty, Han Dynasty finished. And it was revived in the Tang and Song Dynasty hundreds of years later. My ideas of merit were such as the civil service exam in which people had to take tests to qualify for government positions. My, I should stay on this hot air balloon because my ideals will prove that I am the worthiest and the smartest to stay on the balloon. 
and I'm the oldest of all these candidates, so which means I'm the wisest and most experienced in life. My, uh, I, it was my belief system that just Confucianism was so important to the Han dynasty and Chinese society because I promoted things like family importance, uh, the closeness and relationships between the emperor and subject, and things such as filial piety, which is ancestor worship. These are key ideals of Chinese society. Okay. Good job!